rise and shine, you've only got one more thing left on the list, so get reviewing. I can't. Come on, you have a hate boner for this too. I don't even know what it is you've got in mind. The bottom of the list was torn. Was it? Oh, yeah, I did that to surprise you. Right, today you're reviewing a documentary created by a prestigious charity. I'm sure you'll love it. Hey everyone, I'm the Tom on the internet, and I am so sorry. What I'm about to review today is, well, it's a special kind of bad. See, with X-Men Origins Wolverine, or Grown Ups 2, at least they're just fiction. They aren't real, and as such, they don't really matter. This, however, is non-fiction. This is a documentary. And when crap meets non-fiction, it can spawn something truly reprehensible. Today, I'm looking at Autism Speaks. Today, I'm reviewing Autism Every Day. And once again, I am so, so sorry. Autism Every Day is a documentary created by the charity known as Autism Speaks in order to showcase the life of the parents who are raising autistic children. Well, at least that's a nice way to describe this piece of fetid skunk droppings. In actuality, Autism Every Day is a horrendous piece of emotional manipulation that paints living with autism as a living hell. But what would you expect from the charity responsible for this? I am autism. I am visible in your children, but if I can help it, I am invisible to you until it's too late. I know no color barrier, no religion, no morality, no currency. I speak your language fluently, and with every voice I take away, I acquire yet another language. I work faster than pediatric AIDS, cancer, and diabetes combined. I will make sure that every day you wake up, you will cry, wondering who will take care of my child after I die. And the truth is, I am still winning, and you are scared, and you should be. I am autism. You ignored me. That was a mistake. And these? This whole documentary just showcases the most distressing images of the most hellish looking examples of raising children, literally from the first second. No, no, please stop. Please stop crying. I can't bear this. Please stop. It's going to be okay. Oh god, I can never sit through that. Anyway, what makes this whole thing worse is not the children, but their parents. 
Yes, they're loving parents who, throughout this documentary, whine and moan about how autism ruined their lives. I mean, their children's lives. Jackson is never going to get married and never going to have kids. How do you know that? You don't know what's going to happen to him in the future. How can you be so sure? You know, it's very hard to maintain friendships with people that have no idea, like, just how difficult your life is on a day-to-day -day basis. And the parents who were going out for bagels together and are like, oh, do you want to come for a bagel? And I think, yes, in another life, I'd love to come for a bagel. But right now, I have to write down what he's doing so we can go home and work on that. And then I have to take the other two to therapy. So, no, I can't go for a bagel. Oh, boo-hoo! Guess what, Sunshine? That's not autistic parenting, that's just parenting, period. Christian's a human being who's fighting so hard, like you can't believe. And what's been taken from him is... It's indescribable. Matthias was four months old when Christian was diagnosed. It just took a lot of the naturalness, the joy of having a baby out of the equation because we were always filled with fear. He wants to fix Christian and he, he makes a big show about examining people. It's sad. I forget sometimes that he lost Christian too. What? What? Are you that limited in your understanding? Autism is not some kind of infection that can swoop in and disseminate itself into a child overwriting their existing personality. Autism is something a child has from birth. It's a divergence in brain development, not a disability, not a disease. Just a mind that developed a bit differently from what is considered the norm. There are parents who are forced to put kids in schools that are completely overcrowded and 12 kids and one teacher and the, the kids don't make progress. But I remember that was a very scary moment for me when I realized I had sat in the car for about 15 minutes and actually contemplated putting Jody in the car and driving off the George Washington Bridge. It's only because of Lauren, the fact that I have another child, that I probably didn't do it. I... I don't even... I mean... She's right there! You are so lucky your child wasn't paying attention at that moment or else who knows what you'd have made out of that statement. For you to talk about killing your own daughter in such a rehearsed manner is, is, is disgusting. And to do so while said daughter is in the room without even thinking, hey, maybe she can hear me and understand every word I'm saying is just, is just unfathomably callous. And you know what? I bet that child wouldn't have understood what you were saying, because no kid would be able to understand why their mother, someone they love unconditionally and is supposed to reciprocate that love, would ever consider murdering them, you fucking awful parent! And that goes for all of you other parents in the documentary too! You spend this whole documentary complaining about how autism killed your perfect babies and how tough it is raising your defective children and how you can't have a social life outside of your kids, which, again, is the same thing all parents go through. Everyone who has seen this documentary has rightfully called you lot out on how fucking terrible you are as parents. And after watching this myself, I can't blame them. And for this documentary to try and... And for this documentary to end with you all preaching patience, acceptance, and empathy after all that whinging, that is just undeserved. And you, you're not off the hook either, Autism Speaks. Did you think I'd go through a review without mentioning what you did behind the scenes? Remember my manipulation cards earlier? That wasn't hyperbole. You had the parents take the children off their medication so they'd act more like the negative autism stereotypes you take advantage of in order to fund your doomed to fail autism cure research. You are a terrible excuse for a charity. Literally everyone else can and has treated autism with much better respect than you. And there are so many charities that actually help autistic children and families. Any of them are much more deserving of being the number one autism charity than the one that made this morally fucking reprehensible piece of shit. And then extended it. And then did it again a few years later for a commercial. Fuck you, Autism Speaks. Fuck you! I'm the Tom on the internet, and singing us off tonight is a little something that sums up my feelings perfectly. <laughs>
Shame. 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 Wow. Wow. I've never seen you get so riled up. And that rant, not even the review spirit could get you to swear. Turns out all he needed to do was show you this. What? Not talking? Did I upset you? Aww, I'd hate to think I'd finally broken you. Such a shame. Go to hell. It speaks. Would you mind repeating that? I said... Go to hell! <laughs> I've been thinking. You're the reason internet trolls exist, aren't you? If I kill you, you can't turn people into hate spewing assholes. I'll be able to improve the world for good. So, any last words? Yeah, you really don't know anything about my kind. Gah! <sighs> Who do you think you are, Wonder Mary Sue? I'm not some force that corrupts the innocent. I didn't create internet trolls. They created me. I exist solely because the worst of humanity found a new outlet for their cruelty. They spread the hate. I just sit back and enjoy the show. I relish hatred. I thrive on negative emotion. And that's why I came after you. I found your universe long before the review spirit did, and I just couldn't take it. You were so full of positivity, so full of joy and happiness. It was as if you had been stripped of all hatred and insecurities. I took it on myself to break you. You were my special little project. I'm glad to say that I succeeded. <laughs> oh, you can't take it, can you? When there's hate and discord, you're a pig at a buffet. But joy, love, you can't handle that, can you? Well, too bad for you, because love is all I do. I love books. I love movies and TV shows. I love video games and web videos. I love stories and I love critiquing them. I love being a nerd. I am a Potterhead, a Marvel Zombie, an Avatar and a Brony. I am a fanboy for Star Wars and DC Comics and Z Media Entertainment and so many others. Sure, there's some garbage products out there, but I love all my favourite things with a passion. And that's something you can never change. You hear me? Okay, I'll break you! No, you won't. You think you're some big, tough villain. A new Voldemort or Mechakara. But you're not. You're pathetic, just like those you represent. You talk big, but it's all a mask to hide how worthless you really are. You mean nothing. And I pity you. No. 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 <laughs>
Huh? How'd I get back here? Still, good to be home. Wonder what I missed on YouTube. What is this?